Hi guys, welcome to Rapture's house. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for Virgos. I do want to thank you all for all your likes, all your shares, all your subscribes. They're all so, so, so greatly appreciated. All right, we're going to get right on to it. I do call on the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us and the goddess that gives us our strength. Show us what we need to see for Virgo. Show me, Holy Spirit. Show me what we need to see for Virgo. So we have resistance. Hmm. We have resistance. Then we have assessing. And then we have purity. All right. Here what I'm getting is this is someone, whether it's your energy or somebody within your energy, this person is, is no longer resisting. Look at that. At the bottom of the deck, we have beginnings. There's a new beginning coming in. And from what I'm seeing here, someone is actually no longer resisting something or someone. And I feel like in 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 actually surrendering your will to whatever this is to allowing it to enter into your life or to leave your life it's allowing growth to occur that's what i'm getting i feel like for some of you guys you're definitely seeing things clearly seeing things for what it is whether it is a relationship whether it is an environment that you are within I'm definitely seeing that for some of you guys, you're no longer resisting something and you are truly seeing something for what it is. I get in the energy that a lot of you guys, you're actually allowing something to unfold naturally. You're going with the flow. We have purity. Yes. I'm definitely seeing that a lot of you guys, you're enjoying the simple things of life or you are truly appreciating the simple things in life you're being thankful for the little things that will then in turn show god that you are thankful and then that god will know that you since you can appreciate something so little you will appreciate something massive because i definitely see beginnings coming your way there is a new beginning coming your way the light there's a there's a light at the end of this tunnel and i'm seeing like for some of you guys it's like you have you had a deja vu moment so there's something here that you're seeing clearly you're seeing for the first time you're not resisting growth and I, whatever it is that you're no longer resisting i feel like it's now it's allowing growth to enter into your life so whether it's present moment or you're coming into this position or this posture that you are no longer going to resist something there's something you've been resisting. There's a change that was supposed to be happening. There's something that you've been fighting to keep. You've been keeping boundaries with something. But how, 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 what Spirit is asking is how has it helped you or hurt you? You know, that one thing that you have been resisting, how is your resistance to it helped you or hurt you? I do feel like for a lot of you guys, you're seeing it clearly now. You're seeing clearly whether it's been helping you or hurting you. That's definitely what I'm getting here. But I do get like a lot of you guys, you're starting to appreciate something. You're showing appreciation. You're definitely starting to see appreciation of something that was in your life or that is in your life. You're starting to see that appreciation for it now. It's like your eyes has been opened. All right, Holy Spirit, this is for Virgo. All right. So we have, if the good Lord's willing and the creek don't rise. Then we have three sheets to the wind. And then we have swinging on the front porch. Hmm. And then we have sweating like a sinner in church. All right, so what I'm seeing here is, what we don't see is that for your faith, your faith is being questioned at the bottom of the deck. You see that? It says that you're going to have a breakthrough. 
there's a new beginning coming your way and it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna cause a breakthrough in your life for some of you guys you have been reminiscing on some good times yeah, a cozy feeling. There's someone that's what there's someone that you're seeing for the first time. This person may be in your life present moment or this person may have been in your life at some point in time. I'm getting in your energy present moment. This is someone that you have been thinking about. This person's on your mind very heavily. And you're reminiscing on some good times and some cozy feeling here. You're seeing where you should have appreciated this person or you're seeing or if this is your feel or if this is your energy or the person within your energy i definitely feel like at one point in time somebody left a connection somebody left the connection why because they were kind of blowing off a little steam they were a little a little rebellious i'm definitely getting that for some of you guys whether it's your energy or that person's energy somebody may have escaped a little bit and started over indulging in some type of way shape or form form but I'm definitely getting the energy that somebody is no longer resisting. Yeah, they're seeing a purpose in something. They're also they're actually also determined to do something, to accomplish something, or to get something. Mm -hmm. I feel like the divine has stepped in. Yeah, I, and you know what it's saying? It's saying from here on out, it's going to be smooth sailing. That's what I'm getting here. I feel like for some of you guys, it was like a snap moment and the divine felt the need to step in and now you're truly seeing things for what it is you're truly seeing it i feel like for some of you guys you're showing appreciation or you see where you need to show appreciation for something or for some one that's what i'm getting here in this energy all right holy spirit show me what what is it that virgo was resisting because i'm definitely getting that it, it was a past tense resistance but you're no longer resisting it i see that you see purpose in it and you i feel like you're determined to bring it back into your life spirit that's what spirit is saying it's, it's like you're determined to bring something back into your life what are you trying to get back what are you trying to get back perseverance i feel like for some of you guys you've been lost without someone you lost someone or something very important to you that's what i'm getting here and you're trying to you're trying to manifest this back into your life yeah and you're seeing something i feel like you're seeing something clearly you may have left this at some point in time you felt a little rebellious you felt like you were kind of blowing off some steam this person pissed you off and you were trying to get get back at this person what is this assessing quest you guys, you've been on this quest, whether it's your energy or this person's energy, I feel like, you know what I'm getting? There was a need for this to exit your life. There was a need for you to exit someone or something from your life. There was a need at some point in time to have boundaries with something, but you are manifesting this thing back into your life. And I feel like you and this person, you're about to begin some type of quest some type of quest and you know what it's going to bring appreciation to your life it's going to be where you both will have appreciation look at that facade i feel like for some of you guys for a long time you made everybody or everybody think that everything was okay i feel like nobody actually saw the pain that you were feeling that's what i'm feeling here because with purity and with facade it's what it's telling me is that someone and then we have guilt confession and apology somebody's apologizing to someone whether it's you apologizing to someone but i'm actually getting the energy that you both at some point in time you're going to be communicating with someone and you both are going to be apologizing because you both now appreciate each other so much more somebody was was having somebody was holding a facade they were making people think they felt one way when they really wasn't they were showing people one aspect but not the other and why is because they were trying to keep up with what other people's per per perception of a situation or a thing was they weren't being their true self their through their true authentic self that's what i'm getting here what is beginnings what is beginnings grief yeah i feel like you know what this separation has called you caused a lot of grief a lot of grief hmm yeah somebody felt rejected somebody felt rejected for some of you guys there's that you may be thinking that you're going into a new beginning with someone but but you're not 
I'm definitely getting that in the energy for some of you guys. You may be thinking that you're entering into a new beginning with someone, someone that you may have been in communication with recently and you, you guys may have had an open, honest communication. But I feel like for some of you guys, it may be too late. That's for some. For some, there is a new beginning. There's a new beginning no matter what. It's just, I, let's see what's the new beginning, whether the person's going to be in that new beginning or not, though. But I definitely see for some of you guys, once you communicate with this person, once there's going to be a confession, a coming clean, and an apology, once that is done, once that is done, there is going to be a breakthrough. There's going to be a breakthrough in this relationship and this connection. That's what I'm getting here. But you do need to communicate and be honest in your communication. I do see this that at some point in time you were resisting this, but you're not resisting it anymore because resistance actually came out in the reverse. And that's why I say that you're not resisting anymore. And I do see that you're seeing things, you're seeing things clearly better than you've ever seen it. And you know what, with purity here, what I'm seeing is that you, we have the four of pentacles, not wanting to let go of somebody will have to let go of something though. I feel like also it's, it's letting go of the pain of the past. Yeah, show me Holy Spirit. Show me what I'm supposed to see for Virgo. Show me. So we have the star. That's happiness, wish fulfillment. We have the six of pentacles. That's an equal give and take. Then we have the ten of swords. And we have the empress. So there's a new beginning. Hmm. You know, somebody's going to be, we have the Empress. The Empress, that's, that's a new beginning. That's a beginning to something that is something being birthed, something being started up. And we have the star that's watering, that's feeding, that's a wish fulfillment that is happiness success a strong leo energy hmm. what is this what is this holy spirit so i see a new beginning i see happiness i see success i see options and wish fulfillment here so I see an equal equal give and take, but let's see. What is this Ten of Swords? Because this Ten of Swords that's feeling the need, this feeling stabbed in the back. What is this Ten of Swords? Page of Wands. Hmm. There's someone coming in. Someone's not gonna be happy with whatever this new beginning is. And I'm just getting the feeling this is somebody else, though. This is somebody different from this energy. Let's see. Five of Pentacles. Somebody that may have left you out in the cold or you may have left this person out in the cold. I'm getting this person wants to come in. So there's someone here that there may... They, someone previously left you out in the cold. This person sees you as the Empress. This person wants happiness with you. There's a little bit of, this person is highly attracted to you. I am seeing that here, but I'm feeling like there was, at some point there was, there was not something equal here. Look at that, eight of swords. Somebody's definitely all in their head about this. I'm definitely getting somebody's all in their head about this, this coming together. Let's see what's going on here. We have the two of cups. That's love, that's partnership, that's some type of commitment. What is this Holy Spirit? We have the King of Wands. The King of Wands is somebody that's in and out. So I have the King of Wands and I have the Seven of Swords. So that's somebody else in your energy. Let's see, because we have, we have wish fulfillment. We have a soulmate connection. We have the Empress, excuse me. We have the Empress, which I truly feel like you're the Empress. 
be standing beautiful, abundant, ready for a new beginning. You're definitely ready for a new beginning. I feel like anything that you touch is just kind of, there's growth here. There's so much potential for growth. But we definitely have somebody here that, who's this king of wands? Who's this king of wands? Because we have the king of wands that came out in the reverse. And this is somebody that's a lot of, it's a lot of in and out. It's somebody that possibly is in something else, another relationship. We have the ace of pentacles. This is somebody that definitely wants to come in with an offer. They definitely want to come in and speak their truth. What is this? They have something that they want to say. We have strength and we have the page of swords. This person, this person, this person is all in their head though about this. They're not sure. They're unsure of this connection. Even though they see you as the empress, even though they do want a new beginning with you, even do even though they know that they do feel like they can be, they can be happy with you. It's like a feeling of untrustworthiness. Yeah. This person loves you though. This person desperately loves you. For some of you guys, you could have been having some type of financial um, hardship, but you're going to be, yeah, look at this, Eight of Cups. This person is having to leave something behind. And they're not, they're not too happy about it. What is this? Because, yeah, the chariot in reverse. This person has fought. This person is just not sure. This person is definitely not sure of what the what the future holds. And based on that, they're kind of all in their head about it. But I get somebody here that somebody's not going to be happy that you're going to, you Virgo, that you're going to be choosing someone else. Show me. It's someone that's been watching you. Somebody, look, you fell down. That's the hermit, Virgo energy all day. Um, somebody's definitely not going to be happy that you have chosen someone else over them. And I have all, we have, there's Leo here, there's Gemini, Libra, we have Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, we have a lot of cups here. So we have a lot of um, water here in this chart. Mm -hmm. Somebody's been watching you and somebody's trying to find the strength to come towards you. Somebody's definitely, they see you as the Empress. This person has been watching you. This person is highly attracted to you, but this person has nothing to truly offer you. They do want to come in and offer you something, but it's trying to, they're lacking the strength and the courage. The Queen of Swords. You're going to speak your truth. Yeah, I feel like you've been thinking about someone a lot, someone that really that you really do love and you want to give an equal give and take. Yeah, I'm, that's what I'm getting here. You've been thinking about somebody a lot and you're going to speak your truth. You're not going to hold back. Look, the moon, somebody's keeping secrets and you're going to let them know. I don't feel like it's you that's keeping secrets. I feel like, you know what? I feel like the games are over for you. Like you have been resisting this feeling that you've been having in your heart for so long and I feel like for you guys since the beginning like you're finally seeing things clearly you're finally seeing things clearly and you're not resisting anymore who is this person let's see let's pull from here who is this person that Virgo has been avoiding because there's somebody here in this energy that you've been avoiding, but you want to come together with this person. Who is this person, spirit? Who is this person? Okay, that's a whole bunch. So we have the nine of cups. That's your wish fulfillment. 
we have the eight of cups somebody that you walked away or somebody that walked away from you we have the five of swords somebody that you were in conflict with there was competition at one point in time you could have had a happy family life with this person you're you i feel like you i feel like you were you felt kind of foolish but you're ready to take a leap you're ready to take a leap of faith with this person yeah who is this person for virgo who is this person for virgo So we have the high priestess in reverse, the four of swords in reverse, and the hermits in reverse. Hmm. All right. For one, this person could be married we have knight of wands i don't feel like this person is ready we have the high priestess in the reverse the four of swords in the reverse and the hermit in reverse so that's not listening to your intuition that is not healing that is trying to protect yourself from some type of deceit lies and with the high priestess is not just not listening it's like untrustworthy somebody that that's wanting you to see what they want you to see hmm who is this person ace of wands this person wants a new beginning or is it you that want a new beginning with this person but there's 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 a different energy here there's, there's a lack of trust between you and this person. I'm definitely getting that in the energy. Yeah, because this person has choices and they don't know which cup to choose. This person definitely have choices and you know what? They're all in their head about it. This person is a ways from you and they're having, they're, they're all in their head about this. Yeah, but they want to come together with you. They do want to work with you. They do want to put it put in the work. This is your karmic. For some of you guys, this is a soul union. You and this person, you and this person were meant to come together. And the thing about it is, I'm not saying that you're meant to come to, with this person into a relationship. There's definitely someone in your energy that sees you as a star that does not want to lose you from their life they see it so that you are a wish fulfillment they see that they can that you can help guide their life just like they can help guide your life but i feel like you and this person you might have failed each other in the past so you're kind of questioning the future that's what i'm getting here and why this person does want to come there's some conflict here why because i feel like if this person comes your way it's closing out a chapter that they're not too sure they want to close out and you know we always go back to do you want to be somebody's second choice we always kind of go back to that it's always at your discretion but let's see what's the advice What's the advice for Virgo? Trust in the magic and set healthy boundaries. That's your advice. Trust in the magic, trust in divine timing, trust in God, trust in your angels, trust in Trust that you are protected and that, the, that they won't allow something that will hurt you come to you, come your way. Also, keep your boundaries. And Spirit is saying to be, to be playful. Be playful. Don't take it so serious. A rebirth is assured. There's a transformation happening in this connection. Embrace the in-between. There's a black and white, but there's a gray area. Don't, not, don't think that everything has to be black and white. 
okay you can overcome any obstacle I, i'm getting that in the energy with you and this person and spirit is saying bring in a gentle touch believe in yourself and also take a leap of faith by your in 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 revisiting this era of time starting this new beginning allowing truly the thing about it is you truly now embrace what this connection was about that's what i'm getting here and spirit is saying just take a leap of faith and you know the thing about it is, is instead of believing in believing in the other persons believe in yourself and spirit is also saying lay a solid foundation be fearless and bold shine you are the empress you are the empress the emperor you are the star you are the nine of cups you know your worth you've been through so much virgo you know your worth anybody that anybody that gets you is oh so lucky you know that nobody's perfect but you definitely know your worth you definitely know that you are worth so much more and there's somebody here that's coming back towards you or you're going back towards this person because i feel you two talking at each other Okay, I definitely feel the energy here. That person knows your worth. You know your worth. You know their worth. It's everything happens in divine timing. Guys, if this message resonates with you, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments. Until next time, bye-bye.